It's Monday night, August 17th, 2020, and I'm not alone this week. We settled in at this wonderful Forest Service campsite in Kootenai National Forest, east of Eureka, Montana. After an enjoyable walk around a nearby lake, we're just doing the camping thing tonight. So she's working on food, and I'm going to get a fire going. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to head out and look for other adventures in the area. Same with um, just about any vegetable. Plus, if we go ahead and cook them, most of these vegetables cook down quite a bit. So they're going to get smaller. So we'll have maybe half of them tonight in our stir fry. Mm -hmm. And then half in our spaghetti. Nice. Does okay. that sound good? That sounds awesome. Cool. I like to get ahead on meat. I love marinating meat. It just adds a lot of flavor and satisfaction. Get that in there. And let it sit. It will change the texture a little bit. Do we put it in the fridge or do yep. we sit out? No, okay. we put it in the fridge. This okay. looks delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. It's hot. <laughs> it's cooked. <laughs> I might actually do an Italian seasoning next time. How do you use I mean, this? Can you identify the vegetables in it? Orange peppers, mm -hmm. tomatoes, cucumbers, mm -mm. zucchini, mm -hmm. onions. Mm -hmm. And Parmesan. I think you got it all. Parmesan's not a vegetable. It's Tuesday morning and we woke up to find this in the Jeep. This used to be a roll of toilet paper and now it's just a pile of shreds. My mood when we found this immediately went sour because there is nothing I dislike more than mice infesting my camper. I'm not too worried about it because the mice never seem to stick around once we get moving, but just seeing this makes me wonder, okay, what else has it been into? I mean, this is right next to my clothing, man. Seriously. This was the last roll, too. What do you think, Finnegan? We're ready for adventure? He's good to go. I don't know. Alright, we are at the trailhead and adventure is afoot. Gonna head our way up the mountain and see what we can find. Probably camp right there tonight, so when we come back after the hike, which will probably be six miles later, 
Just pop the camper and settle in. Is this an adventure dance? Mm-hmm. Oh. That's good enthusiasm there, buddy. Nice. Good job. That's it, no more. some good old cast iron. You don't see it made like that. There's a log book to sign at this wilderness cabin and we already signed our names in. You're wondering where it is, huh, buddy? <laughs> Can you pick things up with your toes? Did you get a load of these things? They're really yeah. soft. This place is jaw-droppingly beautiful and it's only a stone's throw from the Canadian border. It's about a three mile hike up from the parking area until you get to the cabin. And then this general region is dotted with all these wonderful emerald colored lakes. 
It feels very raw and very wild up here, and it's easily on my short list of favorite hiking destinations. We're going to start working our way back down to the Jeep. We still have the three mile trek ahead of us, and there's steak marinating in the fridge. So very much looking forward to getting back to camp. some more onion in there. back on the grill while the steak is resting. All right, so what kind of cut? Flank steak. Flank steak topped with chimichurri. Uh-huh and broccoli cauliflower rice yep. with cheese and mashed potatoes. Yep. Going right for the steak. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. You, you got the that. meat over your shoulder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey Papa, you wonder what's going on? We're going up to bed soon. Blue sky that way, but in the meantime... Wednesday morning. Got hit by a pretty decent rain squall. Uh, making coffee, deployed the awning really quickly just so we could have a little bit of shelter. And a bit of a mess. Not to mention the mouse. Oh, I'll mention the it's mouse still again. still there. We need to do a deep dive to try to figure out where it is, where it's trying to take up residence. But first... Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> the rain subsided pretty much as quickly as it arrived. And we made coffee, but now we've got a bit of a yard sale mess around the Jeep because of the unexpected rain. Blue sky to the west, so things are going to be clearing up. And after we clean up here, we're going to hit the road and do some exploring. Drying off the... You got the GoPro. Yeah. Chris now digs cat holes for me. <laughs> Just checking out this campsite and uh, just saw uh, a lovely sight and I had my camera bags next to the Jeep. I wanted to reposition the Jeep for the shot and I forgot to move my camera bags and I ran over them with the car. My computer has life. Lumix GH5 appears to be intact.
This is my first view of Glacier. We came around a bend. We were in just like nat kind of flat forest land. Came around the bend and I went, holy cow. spot? Yeah, you get the reflection of the water down there too. I know, I know, I saw that from up here. What you got there, Chris? Firewood. Nice. Fresh from the river. It's Wednesday night and today we worked our way east through northern Montana, first in Kootenai National Forest and now in Flathead National Forest. We lucked out tonight and found this phenomenal campsite on the shore of the Flathead River, just across the water from Glacier National Park. But I passed through this area before around two years ago in the fall. There was about three to four inches of snow on the ground, the leaves were golden, and it was absolutely stunning. It feels like a different place now, but it's no less serene. Last time I was here, I visited the town of Pullbridge, Montana, where there's a charming mercantile, and I think we're gonna do that exact same thing tomorrow morning. For right now, I'm gonna go back to camp, start a campfire, and we're gonna settle in for the evening in this marvelous setting. how you guys romped. It's a sunny Thursday morning. We've got the Jeep all stowed. And now we're off to Polebridge, Montana, several miles to the south of here. When we got to camp yesterday, we were inspecting the campsite and I turned and looked at the Jeep and saw a little gray thing scurry out from underneath and into the tree line. I think that was the mouse that was in the Jeep for the past few nights. And there's no way of telling whether or not it came back. We're hoping that it didn't, but I saw our adversary. I know what we're up against and it's just a tiny little thing. All it cares about is tearing apart paper towels and toilet paper and it hasn't gotten to any food. Just hope that it's gone. It looks like at this junction, the road goes to the left and to the right. Let's go right first, save the best for last. Okay, so we'll go down this inside track and then loop back around closer to the river. Perfect. Hey. Getting some drinking water for the road. Another brilliant place to camp. 
Beautiful scenery, probably a great place to see bears. I think this road goes past the tent. It's a nice spot though. We have a big table there. Whomever managed to land this campsite made out pretty well. There was even more mouse debris under the hood of the Jeep that I found while I was airing up. And I'm pretty sure between the heat and the washboard roads that the mouse is gone now. It's late Thursday afternoon in the city of Whitefish, Montana, and I'm gonna call that a wrap for the week. Next week, we're gonna continue exploring Montana's backcountry, but I also need to find time to fit in service for the Jeep. There's a bunch of issues that are starting to crop up. As of last week, the electronic sway bar disconnect is completely dead. I'm not sure what caused it to fail outright, but I just want it resolved. Also, it desperately needs an oil change, and the passenger side power window works intermittently. Sometimes you can get the power window to work with a smack, like the Fonz might smack a jukebox to get it to play a song. A. But my worst fear is that the window gets stuck in the down position, and I don't want that to happen, so that needs to be sorted too. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this week's adventure. Thank you for following along, and I'll catch up with you again next week.